So yeah, um, my talk for today is about uh, automating WordPress uh, development with Circle CI. So just a question, um, does anyone do CI CD by any chance? Okay, wala. So yeah, anyway, yeah. So a guide to continuous development and integration. So yeah, uh, about me. Um, I'm Jingo Rodriguez. I'm a Drupal developer at Globe Telecom. Uh, yeah, Drupal is the counterpart of WordPress. My bad. Okay. I'm also the co-founder of DevCon Iloilo. Okay. And I've been in the tech industry for almost 10, 12 years already. Okay. And yeah, I've used various stacks already, and um, and I want to make my lives easier. So if another question is, how many of you are devs here? Okay, only see a handful. Okay, so most of you, I guess, are doing um, manual stuff, if I'm not mistaken. Correct. You do automate stuff? Okay. Sige. So what is Circle CI? Okay. Circle CI is a continuous integration um, and continuous delivery platform that can be used to um, implement DevOps principles. Okay. So I think sa mga devs dyan, most of you are already familiar with DevOps. And maybe you're using it in your work. Okay? So sa akin, yun yung ginagamit ko for my work. And I do automate it. And I don't want to do manual work. Okay? Kasi nakakapagod mag-manual work. Okay? Pag sinabing manual work, you do the testing. Um, check mo yung mga standardization. And stuff like that. So most probably, if your company is strict, so you have test and standardization at some point. Okay? So yeah, uh, Circle CI helps the development teams to release uh, code rapidly and automate the build, test, and deploy. Okay? So later on, I'll demo ko kung how fast it would be using uh, Circle CI. Okay? But that would depend. Okay? So yeah, how does it work? Okay. So, um, usually, Circle CI, you would need to connect your Circle CI to your Git, GitHub, GitLab, GitLab Runner na account. Okay? Once you integrate them ready, okay, you create a new pipeline for that certain project. Okay? It's super easy kasi nga pag, um, pag create mo ng account, Bibigyan ka ng listahan ng organizations. And then from that organizations, you choose the repo. Okay? And then from there, nakaset up na siya. Okay? So here, after that, when you create a new pipeline, you deploy. Okay? Uh, you have a certain workflow. Okay? On your config. And you either execute it to do some tests. Okay? A series of testing. Or you could execute it to deploy on your servers. Okay? Actually, yeah, you can do that. Okay? Next is, how do I start with CircleCI? Yeah, go to the website, CircleCI.com, to create an account. Okay? And then, yeah, like I said earlier, link your projects. Okay? And all you need is a config.yml. Okay? What is that? Okay. It's a series of se sequential instructions you pass to CircleCI that uh, you want it to be executed. Okay. This can be deployment scripts, test scripts, update scripts, and building scripts, and so on. Kung ano yung gusto mo ilagay. Okay. So, yeah. Next is we're going to do a bit of um, example. So, ito siya. I'm not sure if kita siya. It's just a screenshot. Okay. So, first, you would just need to create 
once you've done the first steps earlier, um, next thing you're going to do is you're going to create a folder, that circle CI, on your repo folder. Okay? And then you add the config.yml on that uh, folder. Okay? So most probably, ito yung mukha ng um, config.yml. Okay? It's a series of instructions, pero mayroon siyang pattern na kailangan mo lang gayahin and implement on, uh, on your uh, environment. Okay? So, ito yung example niya. Teka. So here I have a pipeline of the WordPress demo I just created last night, okay? And run a couple of series of tests, okay? So the initial test you know, would fail because you just added it. Then you just need to add your scripts at some point, okay? So ito. So let's say I'm gonna do an update on the config file, okay? And then let's try to push it. So yeah, um, this would need internet connection. So kung walang internet connection, hindi siya mag-push doon sa uh, repo niya. So yeah, it's still not pushed. So yeah, so yung mangyayari dyan, dito sa background nito, may lalabas na bagong row. So kung mabilis internet mo, yeah, uh, it's gonna create a new row here. And it says, gonna, it says running. Okay, when it's, once it runs, it will tell you, um, upon completion, kung natapos na yung buong test, it's going to tell you it's either you have a successful build or a failed build. Okay? So, ito example ng, ano niya, ng um, jobs na ni-run. Okay? So, first, it's going to spin up an environment. So, ikaw mamimili ng environment mo. Okay? When I mean by environment is what OS, what browser is going to use at some point for testing. Okay? Yeah, then there, then you check out your code. And these are the two tests I created. Okay, since it passed, kasi ano lang nilagay ko, basic lang doon. So, pumasa siya. Okay, and then from there, you can either deploy it manually or deploy it, uh, you, automi uh, yeah. you could just automate it by a git pull at some point. Okay, so ito naman, meron ako example. Okay, hindi pa siya nag-push. This is one of my oldest projects. Buhay pa rin siyang ngayon. So yeah, I destroyed some of it. So yeah, so when I, when, when I mean by destroyed, uh, minali ko lang yung files yung, yung, um, para lang magkaroon ng error at some point. Okay? So ito yung isang test niya. So I run a CBF to controllers and it detect errors. Total of seven errors in a file. So it will um, inform me that the build would fail. Okay, once it's failed, it's not good for production usage. Okay, so kailangan siyang babalik sa'yo, may defect, and you need to fix that at some point. Okay? So, yeah, that's how very useful yung ganito, especially if you're running uh, thousands of tests. Okay? Yeah, next is... So, yeah, why do we need it? Okay. For me, I've been working with uh, a lot of projects, so gusto ko i-simplify yung trabaho ko and yung, and yung buhay ko. What I'm very simplified is when I just push, it does everything right away. I don't need to do it manually. Sa una, siguro manual, bag, kung sineset-up mo siya, medyo matagal ng konti, but it's, worth, uh, it's very worth it kasi it saves you time. Okay? So you, you automate the testing and deployment, okay? Rather than doing the manual stuff and deploy it to the server, okay? Because most of the time, especially if you're a beginner, you're very afraid to use this kind of tools. So most probably, nandung ka parin sa stage ng um, FTP, okay? 
Sino sa inyo gumagamit ng hanggang ngayon FTP? Oh, wala na. Okay, that's good. Okay? Yeah, and then faster release cycle. Okay, so yeah, uh, once you push it, you can deploy it in production right away. Okay? So yeah, in, and also it's a very easy configuration and setup and can be done within a couple of hours or minutes. Pag sinabi kong couple of minutes, kasi because meron ka ng ready-made ng mga testing dyan, so you set up na lang sa Circle CI, and then you're good to go na. Okay? This can either be um, self-hosted or host mo lang sa cloud. Okay? Pero there's a lot of other um, CID, CD tools. I just prefer this kasi um, it's like my yung nasanay na ako eh. So I haven't used Travis CI kasi there's Travis CI you have to pay at some point. So yeah, in Jenkins, medyo mahirap sa configuration. So yeah, this is very easy. And yeah, I think um, that's it on my end. Ay, wala nang, wala nang QA pala.